Artemis, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to get your ass online and apologize to all the people you had tagged me to come here and taste your trying Hardeman's barbecue and catering in Dallas, Texas. So Hardeman took it upon himself to tag me on social media, invite me to his restaurant. Not only that, he took it upon himself to ask multiple people to tag me and ask me to come to his restaurant. And Mr. Hardeman, I... <laughs> oh my God. Uh... <laughs> Let's see what it's hitting on. We got a brisket sandwich. <laughs> I know you f lying, Hardman. Trash on three. One, two, three. This sh is trash, bro. Let me just show you the brisket, man. So they give you a lot of brisket. They give you about four pieces, nice size brisket. But it don't do you no good when the brisket is old as f bro. I just want y'all to see the smoke ring on this mom. This shit kind of look like lipstick. It kind of look like lipstick, bro. I can guarantee you this brisket is probably about a day old. Mm. Oh, when it comes to flavor, none at all. The bark is not salty. It's not peppery. I'm willing to bet they probably boiled this. They for damn sure didn't smoke this shit. The epitome of garbage. We got some chicken. <laughs> so the chicken itself was cooked beautifully. This is about some of the juiciest chicken I've had in a long time. Let me just show y'all real quick. You can see it, it is juicy as hell. But when it comes to the flavor, bruh. I kind of see what you did. Chicken has a little spice to it, has a little salt to it too, but it seems like they cooked the chicken and then seasoned the skin. Had they took the time to season the chicken, this would have been fire. On top of all that, I ain't no way in hell this shit smoke. Ribs. <laughs> Hardiman's. I just got one question for you. Why did you invite me here to try Hardiman's barbecue shit? These ribs are some of the flavorless ribs I've ever had in existence, bro. No seasoning, no flavor, no smoky flavor. Nothing about this screams barbecue, bro. Nothing about it screams barbecue, man. I don't normally do this, but it came with sauce. Mm. Oh yeah, even the sauce sucks. Potato salad. Mm -hmm. Potato salad, okay at best. I'm gonna tell you right now, it does not taste homemade. Ain't no way it's homemade. Mac and cheese. <laughs> mm -mm. This tastes like it just came first class from a box with added salt. <laughs> oh yeah, that's exactly what that is. We got an oxtail plate. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> if you're gonna cook oxtails, mother cook these right. In my own personal opinion, I feel like oxtails should not be cooked in water. Why? Because most people do not season the water. Just like Mr. Hardim is. I mean, Hardim. These are also extremely fatty. And last, but most certainly not least, these motherfuckers are down bad. I mean, you serving me straight up shit. You can also tell with these, they cook these and then they season. Cabbage. Cabbage is really decent. Mac and cheese, again. Yeah, that, that's That shit straight from the box. Cornbread muffin. <laughs> The inside of the cornbread is very mushy, which leads me to think these are undercooked. Artemis, I want you to do me a favor, and it's only right. I want you to get your ass online and apologize to all the people you had tagged me to come here and taste your bullshit. I want you to apologize for failing them, bro. Because what you served me today was straight up dog shit. I'm going to leave it at that before I say something I'm going to regret. If you're ever in Dallas, Texas, check this place out.